like an ask uh, Pastor Beerus, please? And your favourite mate, Brad G. You just stole the question. It's a calculator. <laughs> That's a lot. So being on the committee for so many years, what uh, what have been the biggest changes you have seen? Uh, what was alluded to earlier, uh, somebody said uh, the referees' uh, numbers at Knox was around 100. The year I took over, we had 65 financial members on the books. It's not to say we had more, but they hadn't paid fees for one or two years. Uh, and to grow over 300, one of the biggest moves because it, you know, it was a small coterie of referees, the same ones we get in the session every week, and we now have the 300, and as you've indicated, some people may not have met some of our referees because they don't prep on those sessions. So, just the sheer size of it. So, the committee obviously comes with a bit of sacrifice. Um, how has Deb dealt with all the time that you have been at uh, continuous meetings? <laughs> She has my roster, which tells her where I am. She's more than happy. <coughs> as simple as that. Uh, tell us about your recent nomination and uh, sub subsequently being uh, awarded a finals in the Ashley Community uh, Awards last, um, last Friday. Yes, thank you. Uh, that came a little bit of a surprise. A couple of weeks ago, I received a, a, an invitation from our local federal minister, uh, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Uh, to say that I've been selected as a finalist in the uh, Ashford uh, District's uh, volunteer, Senior Volunteers uh, Award. Uh, so we went along to the Knox Italian Club on uh, Friday. Uh, I think I was one of about uh, 14 or 15 senior nominees. Uh, and I've mentioned to a few people already listening to their uh, achievements, and no disrespect, Daniel uh, was the one that nominated me. Uh, and the little spiel they had for me sounded very good from a Knox referee's point of view, but it paled into insignificance when you have some people in there uh, in the Knox community they've done 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, and theirs is more of the true volunteer thing. Well, you know, let's be honest, we get remuneration for what we do, but these people were doing real fair dinkum stuff for the community. And uh, one of the highlights I felt was the, the young lass who got the running up in the junior one. It was about this tall. Name got called out, she jumped out of the seat, she ran around onto the stage, bounced up on there, everybody was absolutely enjoying her enthusiasm. She was 11 years old and she'd already raised $3,000 for the Madeline Foundation. Wow. She got the runners up and then the chap that won the, the junior one, he's been doing it for seven or eight years and he's still doing soup kitchens in the Knox district through the council and the electorate. And as I said, what we do is great and we acknowledge it, but these people are real volunteers. I do it because I like to contribute, and I think, as it's indicated the committee, the people that are part of the Knox referees, we're all the product of before, now, and those that are going to be in the future, so. So obviously you've um, been the treasurer for a long time, and spent out uh, a lot of time counting coins. The question on everyone's mind is, when are you going to use the coin counter at uh, the banks? <laughs> <laughs> Before you go there, you need to know how much you're putting in so that you know that the $50 bags for the chocolate money, that's got $50 in it. It's no good putting in a machine to find it's got $47.65. You have to know it balances before you take it to the bank. That's what a good treasure is. <laughs> you and I have spent a bit of time together playing a bit of golf. Who hits the golf ball further? You or me? <laughs> Who's won most of the long drives in Oakley? Uh, so, well, you've been in Oakley quite a
three, break the three, sorry. And uh, Sydney, you come to the front. Brad. It's broken. It's broken. Brad, 